And good evening, everybody. This is Michael Filigera. I am with LogicalSignals.com and TradersHelpingTraders.com. And this is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. As you can see by our hourly chart, I continue to leave the labeling blank for the moment uh, as the market continues to churn and basically uh, give us the clues and, and the necessity or the necessary information to uh, make decisions on direction and trend. Uh, right now though, I'm continuing to leave this labeled as my new something new wave four. So I can and likely will uh, put one, two, three, four, I think it's three, and then five. I may have to extend the three up to here or here. And both are acceptable, or actually right there, because that is the high of that for this sequence before the drop. So I would put a three, and then that's the four, and that's the five. <clears throat> so I could count five up to this level. And from there, what we have is a possible one, two and the start of the third wave, or A, B, and a C wave. Both are very applicable, but we would, this, if it's an ABC, that's going to tell us that we still have additional advance to complete. But to me, it seems that the buy energy comes in, it's rejected and all that sell energy is expended. And then the buyers come back up and not getting very far. Today did put in a new, slight new high, 75 cents higher than what we saw yesterday. And so we're not, that energy is, is pent up and it pushes pretty hard. Um, but you can see here, it took one, two, three, four, five, six hours of buying. And the strongest being right there at the end uh, with the US Open. And that's when the US Open, and that's when it pushed up to that slight new high. And that was again rejected. So definitely could be an ABC. And if it truly is, then I think that this is just the start of a C, and we got one and a two, and it's going to drop in the third. Even if this is five, and this is one and two. I still believe this is going to just come off in a hurry. And so either way, I want to add some. These are still continuing to be Fibonacci levels extensions for upside, which I'm leaving on for right now because actually there is still a probability or a potential for the market to turn again and the buyers to take control again and to expend all that energy and push it up above 4,400. Definitely can happen. Uh, we have seen these rallies be quite intense and like everybody's get out of the way. But what we're also seeing is that it's expending energy, coil, expansion of energy, coil, expansion of energy, coil, and I'm thinking we're gonna get another drop down. It just seems to be that's the pattern and it fits the Elliott pattern. Either, either uh, alternative course here that, we're being, that I'm presenting can happen, they, they have equal probability. The market could just find more buyers and just continue higher. In which case, this was an ABC and it ends up being flat with that being a failure and then we're up and we're going in the next five. Or a, a one, a two and a three coming off, even if it's an A, B and a C coming off, both have the same probability. They both carried enough weight that it would drop below 4350 and likely down to here. If it, because even if it's a flat, it has to at least come down to 4350. And I, and I think there's too much energy here that if it started going down, it's going to go further than that and still be an ABC if that's going to be the case. So we still have a ways to go before we can determine what is this actually. Right now, I'll probably fill it in a little bit later, but I put the, I'll put the labeling on there and call this a five, but only of a sub sub minute level and leaving open what it is above because 
I have to wait to let Mark to tell me. That's basically the case. So if for tomorrow, we the coil up and that pressure comes on, I would suspect from this level that we probably stand a better chance of breaking that and getting ourselves up closer to 4,400. I, for whatever reason, maybe that's just the way algorithms are, are being programmed right now and they're willing to buy it up to that level. I don't know, but it can get there. And if not, and then we'll see what actually looks like. If it does, I'm gonna be looking for a rejection because that seems to be the way the pattern is. But I think also the way this pattern is that this upside doesn't have quite the same high probability as the downside. Again, both are basically sitting on that 50-50, but it might be 45-55. No. Or that'll increase as Globex opens and, and gets in gear. And we, if we start to come off, that's going to have a lot more support than that coil building up to the downside and just letting go. Uh, don't forget we have Asian markets to come in. We also have European markets. Last night, European markets took it up. They may do the same thing. So downside, we have support, but I would expect at least a, some type of a move below 43.50. Here we have support, but that's just for on the way up, but it also provides it on the way back. And then we also have the 200 at 43.39, 43.40. So we have 50 and 40 and then 20. 25 points. So all those levels are very real. If indeed this is not in, this is incomplete and we're still looking for additional upside in a new move, which I'm not, that would be the no break zone for those that think that it still could within this advance. I think this advance is over and we're correcting and we may still have upside, but we've got to let this correct because that would be wave one and I can't break that. But the potential for it to come down in, in a second wave should certainly break that and get itself down here. So I cannot discount all of these levels. And what I will add for right now, just so we can put some parameters around it, I can go and add extensions and we'll see if there's any overlap. Okay, so right there. So at the 40 level, we have some overlap. At that 20 level, we have some over, 25 level, we have some overlap. And then it gets very lonely down here all by itself. So that's where our overlap is. We have an above, which is holding it at the moment. And then nothing, and then nothing. And then you get a little bit of an overlap right there at 50. 49 to 55, we got a little bit of overlap, but these down to here. So that would seem where this particular uh, portion of whatever's going on should find support and maybe complete, maybe as low as here. Um, if it really got itself going, 4,300, but that, that would be a pretty severe decline. And I don't think the Dow actually is done going up. And so while the NASDAQ may go down in this one, the ES and the NASDAQ are very connected now by the weightings in both of these indexes by uh, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Intel, uh, and a lot of the, the big companies. They have a heavy weighting in the, in the S&P and they also have a heavy weighting in the NASDAQ. So therefore, today, uh, Apple and Amazon and Google were really in, in request. And Microsoft had a nice move there today as well. And that kept the buyers active and, and moving in here, and basically because they were moving into those stocks. Um, but I think that energy as well is coiling. And once, this, once the sellers, I think, begin, uh, it'll also stop. Apple and Amazon and, and that. But that rotation has to stop first, I guess. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll use the Fibonacci as set up. We have upside, we have downside. All the numbers are there. Just be able to discern them. Play using your moving averages and use your moving averages on all time frames. An hour, 30, 15, 5, 2, 1. They're, they're building blocks, remember? 
So the time frames are building blocks to the larger time frames as well. And therefore, these moving averages continue to work. And you just check against all of them to see, oh, are we dropping into trend or are we pulling back up in trend? Because the moving averages will give you all the information you need right now. Of course, it's totally sideways and flat, but that's reflective of exactly what's happening. Nothing. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Our next update will be on Thursday, July 15th.